This design is a flaming sports ball design. And I have a whole video on how to do um, a soccer ball similar to this. So today I'm going to do baseball. So I've still got that same cake that has a small sliver of black and, and gray and a large area of white. And so I'm going to load the tip with a, that little bit of black and gray. And I'm going to make the circle first because I want it to dry so I can put the stitches on. And I'm going to show you a little trick here too. So once I fill it in, I take the brush and do the stitching. So if I was doing a soccer ball, I would tamp out five arms. And see if I make a mistake, maybe this is bigger, I can come back over it and flip it out. Okay? So let's start with the actual design. But I'm going to do the same thing with the baseball too. Okay, so let's start our time. I'm going to load this up. You just want to make sure it's creamy enough that it's not going to leave a big puddle in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to make the, a circle. And if you have to, you can go back over it to make it nice and round. I'll fill it in a little bit. I'm using a 5 8 inch angled shader. And then, so here's my trick. So with the baseball, I'm actually going to want two arches. So I'm going to draw those with the brush to give me a little indication line when it's early enough that I can come back and fix it if I had to. Okay, and then I'm going to take the same brush and load it with the heel in the dark this time instead of the light. Okay. The reason I do that is so I have dark in the middle of my flames. I'll show you. So I take the tip of the brush and I'm just drawing with that end of it. And I wrap around the ball first. And then I come in and start making my U's. My U shapes. So it looks like flames. Isn't that an easy way to do flames? So I might just fill in with where I think I need some more. Cool. And then I'll show you the trick about the stitches. So I'm going to load up some red on a number two brush. So what you want to do is follow this little stitch line you just made and come back in. And you're not really making X's, you're making kind of alternating little teeny teardrops. And then you come this way, so you're going to do the opposite the other way. And they don't have to be perfect, but just have them follow that line. Okay? So it's a that's a full two minute design. So if we wanted to, we could come back in and just outline it black. So you can come back in if you want to. If you have good good illustrative skills. And then you can also draw like a little teeny weeny stitch line. Cool. Okay, that's a 2 minute and 33 second. I guess 2 minute and 37 seconds once you hit the stop button.